Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Ari. I'm a Taurus Sun, Cancer Rising, Aquarius Moon, and the Life Path number seven. If you're not new here, thank you for watching another video of mine and choosing to support me further. It does mean a lot to me. Please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe before you do leave this video, especially if you're able to relate or connect with this message. So today everyone, I'm here with a channeled messages reading from your person for all of my Cancers watching. So if you have Cancer as your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or anywhere in your chart, this message might apply to you. Your person Cancer is whoever is currently on your mind right now. You two may be in separation and communication, may be at a distance from one another. Just whoever in your heart is your person, that's your person and you'll know. Before I do get into your reading, Cancer, please keep in mind that this will be a general reading for the sign of Cancer, so it may not resonate or relate to you specifically, and if it does not, please don't take it personally, and also Cancer, please only take what resonates for you out of this reading. But without further ado, Cancer, let's go ahead and take a look at what messages we do have from your person. We'll also get some overall messages regarding the connection you're in currently. All right, first card, how much do I mean to you? Let's go ahead and get a few more cards. What's going on with Cancer in regards to love? Let's have some messages for Cancer. Okay, Cancer, so third party did come out. We'll go ahead and keep that card. Let's go ahead and get a few more specific messages for Cancer, please. Okay, Cancer, so we have our first few cards. Before I do get into them, please keep in mind that if I'm uh, speaking from your person's perspective, describing their energy, their emotions, how they feel, that could be how you feel, Cancer. The roles could be reversed, just however this reading resonates for you, only take what resonates. This is also a timeless love reading, so any energy I'm describing throughout it can apply to the past, the present, the future of your connection. And if you're not connected to anyone at this time, this could be someone from your past or someone who's coming towards you. But so far, Cancer, we have how much do I mean to you? Third party. Should have known you were like the rest. And don't sugarcoat what's going on. So Cancer, I feel like this is more of a present or past energy. Um, I feel like you felt like if third party does resonate and there was another person that you did not know about or you were somewhat uh, concerned about and them coming or interfering with this connection, if that does resonate with you, Cancer, I feel like you were somewhat able to tell like you weren't so much clueless. Um, just like talking to your this person and their body language maybe their tone of voice the dialogue i feel like you you felt like they were being dishonest or not telling the complete truth maybe there were some white lies don't sugarcoat what's going on i feel like this is your energy cancer like keep it real like we have third party here and if that is the reality of this connection then it's like, why tie up my genuine feelings when you're doing low level stuff, low, low vibrational stuff that has nothing to do with my emotions towards you? Like, just keep me out of it. Um, this connection, you may have not expected it to be like this. And I don't think we ever, like, we might have that doubt in our mind, but we, we hope that that doesn't ever happen, Cancer. But depending on the history you've had with this person maybe how long this connection was or is it makes you question all their emotions towards you like what do i how much do i mean to you what do i mean to you why why include me in into this situation when my love for you was real like just wasting your time your emotions should have known you were like the rest i feel like this is your energy cancer in the way that this person may have turned out to be somebody 
or people you've known in the past, someone who just wasn't for you, didn't keep your best interests at heart. So let's go ahead and get a few more cards for Cancer regarding this person, any energy, new energy when it comes to love. We do have no hard feelings. I'm just over it. All I have are your words and I'm trusting that. Let's go ahead and get one more card for now. One card did fall, so we'll go ahead and see what that is as well. We also have you are my heart in human form. And you tell me nothing's wrong, but I feel it. So yeah, Cancer. No hard feelings. I'm just over this. All I have are your words, and I'm trusting that. You're my heart in human form. And you tell me nothing's wrong, but I feel it. So yeah, Cancer, like I was describing before, I feel like you started not to trust this person before you maybe found out the full truth. Um, you tell me nothing's wrong, but I feel it. And don't sugarcoat what's going on. You may have also just had to... You may have also just try to talk to your person about how you're feeling your anxieties and like just looking back at everything being able to confirm that your suspicions your feelings were were true this person may have tried to like brush it off or reassure you denying any emotions that you have and looking back at it and how they were treating you in that moment it's, it might be disgusting because they were lying in your face and please cancer only take what resonates but we have all i have are your words and i'm trusting that i feel like you still hold on to like some hope here when even when you felt like things were off between you two believing the believing what this person tells you because i do feel like you cancer had a strong emotional bond connection and just overall connection with this person your feelings for this person were real you're my heart in human form I feel like this is your emotions towards this person cancer and not expecting this to happen not expecting them to treat you this way and depending on how it ended cancer when you found out i feel like they may have took it out on you and if it did happen that way just i hope you know you did not deserve it and that was not a reflection of your love and that that may have hurt you the most but i also feel like with this love maybe exposing its true colors or their true colors to you cancer it puts in your mind that this is not this is not you this is not someone you want to be connected to someone who's nasty someone who would do that stuff to you or towards you and maybe even take it out on you. No hard feelings, I'm just over this. Perhaps you do have some hard feelings and emotions or just like thinking, how could a person do me like this? How could someone just lie to me? And I feel like you're questioning how much do I mean to you because whatever led up to this was not matching the words that they were telling you before the actions that they were telling you before or showing you before but i feel like you cancer you know that this is not what you deserve this type of treatment so you're choosing to keep, like put it in the past it might be very fresh very new cancer but i feel like you you intend to not let that get to you and you're still open to receiving better love than this. But let's go ahead and get the last few cards for Cancer, please, regarding this connection. Okay, Cancer, so we have three cards here. Let's go ahead and get one more card. Okay, Cancer, so... For our last few cards, we have... I miss the old times with you. Your love made me love. When I don't hear from you, all my faith in this goes to waste. <laughs> and I don't need you, I want you, understand that. So Cancer, I feel like this was a person you poured your heart into, but their actions, if this has been resonating with you, their actions have shown you that this is not the person to put your love into and you're respecting yourself um but then i feel like this connection had an impact on you cancer because you were leading with an open heart no ill intention no 
no alternative agenda. You just wanted to love this person and I feel like they made you feel comforted enough to love them more and maybe fat like just for your feelings to grow faster for this person i also feel like you cancer you had in your mind that you two were going to be together for a long time like this was your person we have your love made me love i feel like this is somewhat of a mutual energy here cancer but just this person you feeling like this person is someone good for you and just sharing them into your life sharing them into your home what really makes you happy comforted like sharing more about yourself because you felt comfortable to do so with this person um leading up to this ending cancer like i've been saying like your intuition like things may have felt off with you that's when communication may have dropped or because i feel like this person was like on you heavy at one point like texting you all the time wanting to talk to you all the time wanting to be around you all the time and then that's that's not that's easy to observe when that type of energy drops when i don't hear from you all my faith in this goes to waste i feel like this is your energy cancer just knowing that something is off feeling like their emotions are being pulled back or they're pulling back their emotions I miss the old times with you. I feel like you and this person did have some experiences together and just you reminiscing or thinking like, how did this end up to be this? Not expecting it. And I don't need you. I want you to understand that. This is you, Cancer. Like acknowledging your love for this person, but not going to be pulled through all the ropes, going through obstacle courses, going through hoops doing lunges and all these type of somersaults for this person because they do not deserve that that type of energy from you but cancer i will go ahead and leave it at that that's all i do have for you today as always i appreciate the love and support please like comment and subscribe and i'll i will talk to you next time bye